big player in the Brazilian legends. Rattlesnip are out at the Immortal Bar in Bangkok and also at the Play Space in Kuala Lumpur. We did, uh, we did about three or four shows in Taiwan, one in, uh, one in Malaysia and one in Thailand, and they were all actually really successful. They were all actually pretty awesome. We got a really good response. Wake Up Festival in Chia, in Taiwan. And yeah, it was the first time I'd ever played an outdoor show, and it was pissing down. I was on, I'd done my ACL, so I was on crutches at the time, and so getting around was pretty challenging. Um, and then as soon as we were about to go on, like about an hour before we got about to go on, this like monsoon came in. Uh, we got to play towards the end of the night, and it was really humid and hot, and um, it's just this festival environment we get to play this outdoor stage and right as we played it started pissing down so we we're like fuck this is gonna be terrible no one like shows gonna get caught off or no one's gonna come and watch us or whatever at that moment you don't really give a fuck it's like we're here we're doing it we're all in like whatever happens happens you know <laughs> all the pedals are getting wet as fuck but whatever it was a bit of a cover for, for me but like tom and and the guitarist like the other guys like we're getting, you know, pelted with rain and we just fucking killed it. We played so, we played really well, so much energy. The stage was flooded and um, and it was just a really cool vibe. Um, and, you know, it's just one of those things where you, you think everything's conspiring for a, you know, a big letdown of a show and then it ends up being one of the best, you know, shows that we've been part of. <laughs> to do a split vinyl with someone um we just like people don't buy cds <laughs> people but but with the vinyl resurgent people people buy vinyl our friends in melbourne blunt shovel were in a similar thing where they had an album coming out but they'd started recording a few songs and we were like well would you do, be keen to do a split with us and they were like yeah yeah we'd be keen to do that we well, think we went straight to the studio after that australia new zealand tour and tracked that <laughs> self-produced this in between shows and tours and it was to be honest one of the more stressful ones jack engineered and mixed it um under you know fairly tight <laughs> timeline we we're pretty pressed for time um we had a bit of bad luck you reckon yeah either way it lies at the guitar not the source so, so what do we do just cancel and come and have to redo everything i think so it's so shit Producing your own band or, you know, engineering your own band has its own challenges. It's only three tracks, so doing this one wasn't as much work as the others, but definitely put the same amount of effort into it and 
yeah, happy with the result. It's funny upon hearing it now, like um, I I actually really like it. We we went with like a really naturalistic approach to it. We kind of no drum samples, very little editing, um, fairly organic approach to to like our performances and our takes. That was all finished and got sent away to be made whilst we were in Asia. And when we came back, we were then ready to do another run of shows with a new split. Hello, I'm Safi. Where are we, Pat? Japan's a crazy place. Um, I wasn't really prepared for it, especially Tokyo. It's just coming from, you know, like a suburban town like this and going there and just it's just constantly shit around you going on all the time. We played with this place, which is meant to be the, lo the loudest live house in Japan. And it was so loud. that it had a soundproof door that you had to go through to go to the bar and then you had to shut the door behind you, it was like that fucking thick. <laughs> you can't hear shit when you're in the bar, a tiny little bar at the front of the venue. You open that door and it's just like a wall of sound. Um, so loud, I was, I'm still fucking deaf from that. It was lush all the tour, so we were feeling it and we wanted to go out with a bang and, and, um, yeah. and yeah, like the, the, the crowd was really driving on it and yeah, we, we had a blast, so. So yeah, we had a great time. Some, there was some trying circumstances, um, didn't have the best accommodation. Sleeping on floors, um, you know, uh, no showers and then cold showers in the middle of, um, you know, when it's snowing outside, you've still got a cold shower and you're still sleeping on the floor. But we definitely, we didn't let that stop us from, from kind of getting the full Japan experience. Oh. Once to think I'd be joining the stage with Max Cavalier to do a cover of ACDC. That was definitely one of the big highlights of my life so far. A bit disappointed with the balding that I have going on now, but pretty happy with the gigs. It was a lot of work and we threw ourselves in head first with this stuff. It's been a great ride so far and it's been, we've been flat out and we've done a lot of stuff and um, yeah, we, we want to keep going. You know, it's not all fun and, and and games the whole time, but I don't think any band is. But like for it to just work the way it has, um, it's just crazy. It blows my mind. <laughs> 